right gang, what's up? So a few weeks back, you might remember we did a piece at Infineon Raceway about the electric uh, TTX GP races. And as part of that, one of the classes they had was an E Super Stock race, which encompasses right now the Zero S models, because that's really the only production electric motorcycle you can really buy that'll be competitive in the class today. I talked to Kenyon Kluge, the kind of protagonist of the class, about possibly racing them in that class one day. And he had four bikes and uh, he called me up probably about a week before I'm shooting this film right now. He said, hey Troy, do you want to do this race in Portland? I'm like, well, you know, sure, of course. I love going on bikes around a racetrack. So here I am, Portland International Raceway. As you can see behind me, it is wet. Uh, currently the sun's out right now, but it wasn't always the case. So I've just done a few practice sessions today. Uh, we did one in the morning that was really wet, but I just wanted to get out there to see where this track goes since I've never been here before, never ridden this specific bike before. So I wanted to get my feet wet, get a feel for what I'm doing around here, and wet is exactly what I got. It was pouring down rain here. in saying this is the second uh, race of the E Super Stock Series, correct? That's right, Infineon was the first one and uh, that was really the first time we ever really conceived of the, the race and brought the bikes out and ran them. And so uh, where is, you know, where is TTXGP on board with, uh, with this? Like where is the future vision of this class? Well, um, you know, I think people are embracing it more and more and my opinion is, is this is the future of racing. Uh, this is how People are gonna are gonna race electrics. They're gonna go out and they're gonna buy a bike just like you buy a Suzuki or Kawasaki, Honda, any of those. Um, you're gonna go buy your your electric bike and uh, and bring it out to the racetrack and race it. Specifically speaking to the Zero and maybe the Zero S and uh, the future of the Zero company in racing, can we expect to see anything uh, coming out of Zero for like a racing class like this? I hope so. I mean, we're we're improving our bikes every year. We we work really hard to make sure we uh, increase our performance pretty drastically. I mean, year over year, we're almost seeing a doubling of performance every time we, we improve them. And we're just going to continue that trend. And uh, so we're going to keep bringing these bikes out. We're going to keep testing them, keep uh, pushing them harder and harder until uh, until we get there. And uh, where that is, uh, we'll you know we'll see as the years go on. But I think it's going to be a lot sooner than everybody expected. We haven't done our race yet. What's your prediction for how our race is gonna turn out later today? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, like you said, in the, in the qualifying, we're all within you know half a second, probably even less, I think. And uh, so it's gonna be a big draft battle. I think it's gonna be whoever has the best strategy coming out of that last corner on the race. Uh, you don't wanna commit, huh? You don't wanna commit to a winner. Okay, well, We'll get back to you at the end of the day with uh, our race results and our final thoughts and uh, hopefully one of us will have a trophy in our hands.
What an awesome race. As you can see from the GoPro footage, we were going back and forth, banging bars, really just dicing with each other, drafting battles back and forth. It was nuts. But in the end, look who came home the winner. Me. I won the race, man. Last lap, last corner drafting battle. So I want to thank all the guys from Zero, Kenyon, Gabe, Luke, for really uh, helping me out, getting me out there, getting me a good bike to ride, and just being a really classy act. So to read more about my experience, go to motorcycle.com.